The Decline of Mughal Empire The first half of the 18th century witnessed the decline of the Mughal Empire. By 1740, when the period of our study begins, Nadir Shah had laid waste to Delhi. It was the Marathas, not the Mughals, who fought Abdali in 1761. By 1783 the Mughal emperor was a pensioner of the British. Internal weaknesses in the struggle for power. As the history suggests, Aurangzeb's misguided policies had weakened the stable Mughal polity. But the two main pillars on which the empire rested was the army and the administration, which were still upright in 1707. Wars of succession and weak rulers plagued Delhi from 1707 to 1719. Muhammad Shah's rule from 1719 to 1748 was long enough for a revival of imperial fortunes but the complete incompetence of the emperor ruled out this possibility. It was in his reign that Nizamul Mulk resigned as wazir and set up the independent state of Hyderabad in 1724. Bengal, Awadh and Punjab followed the same pattern and the empire was split up into successor states. Petty chiefs interpreted this as a signal for rebellion and the Marathas began to make their bid to inherit the imperial mantle.